Hello everyone and welcome to my Monday afternoon one minute forecast. Meteorologist Hunter Benstock here going to start off with a look at some weather alerts. We have this wind advisory out in the south central portions of the state. This one's going to go until Monday 11 p.m. central daylight time. This is for those 30 mile an hour winds sustained with the gust 55s. We also have a fire weather warning that's just for Corson County down there covering the southern, northern portions of South Dakota. Again that's for the low relative humidity as well as some winds so there's some risk there for fire hazards in South Dakota this afternoon. We also have a special weather statement that's really close to canceling here. It was issued Monday at 2 uh, issued Monday 11 12 a.m. goes until 2 15 p.m. Central Daylight Time this afternoon and that's going to be for those lightning strikes this afternoon as well as some potential to see some 50 not 55 mile an hour gusts from collapsing thunderstorms. Now as we move into satellite and radar here there's not many cells that across the state that are actually capable or capable of producing lightning this afternoon. We've got one cell that's directly to the northeast of the capital city, and then we also have another cell that's out towards Devil's Lake. The only one really producing lightning right now is the one near Bismarck, but overall we're just going to see some rain showers this afternoon. You might see an isolated strike of lightning here or there, but overall nothing too significant. And taking a closer look at it, it really is just that one cell close to the capital city that's just going to be producing some lightning this afternoon. Our lows this evening are be going to get down into those 40s widespread across the state. So 41 for Dickinson, 43 for the capital, 42 for Minot, and 42 for Williston. So shouldn't get below freezing, but we will get down into those 40s. And our high temperatures for tomorrow, it'll just be 50s and 60s. Nothing that's going to be too warm. Maybe folks out to the more eastern reaches going to stay in those upper 40s, but overall just going to be a chillier afternoon. And it's not our coldest day on the way. So as we look towards Thursday and Friday, we'll get into those lower 40s, maybe even see a couple of 30s on those days, and then we'll start a warming trend once again. By the time we get to Sunday, we'll be back into those 50s and then 60s for pretty much the rest of the beginning of next week. Looking at our wind speed and direction, we're primarily the southeast right now, anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour, and we do have some gusts this afternoon, gusts in those 30s and 40s. And looking at precision cast here, we're going to see the system work its way into the more eastern portions of the state as we get into Tuesday afternoon. Now, Tuesday morning, there's some slight chances for some early morning convection but by the time we get to Tuesday afternoon that rain is going to push off the more central and eastern portions of the state and by the time we get into Wednesday almost all of it's going to move over to the Devil's Lake Jamestown regions. Wednesday evening into Thursday afternoon we're going to see that snow chance across the northern border portions of the state and that really that snow chance is going to stick around through Friday morning and it'll start to dissipate by the time we get to Friday afternoon. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to be going over our wind chances for the next week ahead of us coming up with my full forecast on KX News at 4.